Okay, here we are. I'm Rashid Alonaro, coach speaker and author of this book, Soul Trader, Putting Heart Back Into Your Business. We are up to principle four. The fourth principle is cooperation. So we've talked about clarity, we've talked about your customers, we've talked about having the courage to even start or grow your business. And the next thing is cooperation, because the chances are that you're not going to be able to do it alone. Even if you're a 100 meter a race runner, you know, an athlete, you'll need to have a huge team of people. They may not be visible when you're doing your day-to-day -day work but you can be sure there's a team of coaches, nutritionists, there's friends and family around, so it's gonna be the same thing for you. So one of the challenges that lots of people in business or lots of people who are freelance or lots of people who work independently have is they often feel that they need to go on the whole journey alone. And this is just not true. If Russia and if America, some of the world's biggest, most powerful countries, China, if these kind of economies aren't independent, then what makes you think that you're independent, that you can do it all by yourself? And without cooperation, nothing happens. The bus doesn't stop at the bus stop. And, and people wouldn't let each other on and off. So cooperation is going to be necessary throughout. So one of the things I want you to think about is where are you at right now and what support is it that you need to build your team? You might be thinking, well, you know what? I'm thinking about going into a whole new field. Um, I'm going to need to help somebody to help me with my admin. I'm going to need to, I don't know much about the numbers. I'm going to need to find an accountant. Map out who are the people who you already know? Who are the kind of people that you need? What are the different types of expertise that you need? You might think, I could need some finance support, I need some marketing expertise. And then on the, once you've mapped out all of the support that you have and that you need, spot where the gaps are and then dip back into your network. They say that most of us know about 200 other people. Nowadays with the um, advent of stuff like social media and resources like Thinkit, you know what, well, we're often connected to far more people. So I really want you to think about who is it that you already know? Because if you know 200 people and they know 200 people, suddenly we're tapping into a really vast network. Probably somewhere within there, 200 people is the other expertise that you need. But one of the things I find as a coach is very often we, we, we forget that, we overlook that. We're so busy trying to find new people, we forget the contacts that we already have. So make sure, first of all, your friends, your family, your contacts, the people you used to work in that old job, or the people you went to university or school with, make sure that they know who you are and where you're about. Find out what they're about. Be collaborative about this. It has to be a dance. You can't get what you want without giving people something that's of value to them as well. So spot the people who it is who are like-minded and have shared values, but who have different skills and talent for you. And spot those people because they will be invaluable for you, but also for your customers too.